How intentional are you about your life? Do you have a mission statement? Well, Jesus did. Jesus was going back to his hometown of Nazareth, and he sat down in the synagogue and was recognized as this up-and-coming rabbi. And everybody was sort of anticipating, what's he going to preach on? Picked up the scroll of the book of Isaiah, and he said this. This is from Isaiah 61. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And then he puts down the scroll and he said, this has been fulfilled in your hearing. In other words, this is what I am about. So if Jesus had a business card, he'd have Isaiah 61 on it. He knew exactly what he was there to do and what he was not there to do. And the more we focus on what God wants us to do, the more sense of purpose we have in our life. I've thought about this a lot in my life, and my purpose is twofold. One is to go after what the Bible really says. I don't want to have opinions and go look through the Bible for proof text. I want to bring out the message of the Bible. And then the second part is to use what I learn to be a catalyst for renewal and change in the church, the broader sense of what church is about. And that really animates me. And things outside of that are not my vocation in the purest sense of the word. And the simpler and the more specific your mission statement is, the better. To be a really good person is by pretty vague. <laughs> it doesn't have any sense of, of focus. And the clearer you can make your mission statement, the better. I invite you to think about that today. Get out a pen and paper and write some things down. And then look at it and write something more specific. Pray over it. Ask the Lord, what did you put me here to do? The focus is really key. And tomorrow we've got a great passage for those of you who think it's too late to do so. But it never is. That's the good news for today. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow.